Hi everyone, this is Mitch. It's Tuesday, October 21st. You know, uh, we got college football tonight. Um, you know, normally I come on here and it's like it's one take. I don't have a script. I don't have anything like that. I just shoot from the hip. I just, you know, I keep it real. And, uh, you know, I just tell you exactly, how, you know, as it's popping into my head. I don't, you know, it all just comes kind of naturally to me. Uh, today, I'm struggling. <laughs> and it's because of tonight's game. And uh, I, it's tough to get excited for this one. I mean, normally any college football game, people are, you know, they know, oh, it's college football. Mitch is definitely watching this. It's like, who would watch this game? Oh, Mitch is watching it. You know, everyone knows that. But tonight, it's going to be a struggle because Ohio and Temple, um, yeah, these are two teams that we, you know, we, we've played them a couple of times this year. We've, we've watched some of their games. Um, it's going to be a struggle to see them watch each other, to see them play each other because, uh, you know, we, we've picked them both, but we've picked them out of the underdog role pretty much all season. We did take T Temple in their opening game against Army as a favorite, but uh, since then they've been a dog in every game, and so is Ohio. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be tough because neither of these teams – bring too much to the table as far as offense. Um, they both turn the ball over a lot. They both play sloppy. They both don't play the style of defense that we like. I look for a low-scoring game. Um, I think these two teams are very, very even. That's why we're going to take Ohio and the points. I know not everybody agrees with me. Um, it, you know, I, I rate this game a, a 2 out of 10 on uh, my rating system. I think that's being generous. And, uh, you know, that's, that's about all I have to say about this game because I just can't get that excited about it. And, uh, you know, I, I probably will watch it. I mean, you guys know I, I'll, I'll watch it. But, um, you know, may, maybe, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. In any event, you know, something I am excited about is the picking contest. Still plenty of time to sign up. Um, you know, all the details are on the front page of the blog. So, uh, you know, you just... Just go there, check out the details. takes about 20 seconds to uh, sign up to be eligible for it. I'll be sending out the picks starting tonight, but you could really, um, you know, sign up at any time during the week, and uh, you'll have, you should have plenty of time to enter as long as I get them before the uh, game start on Saturday. Um, let, let's, uh, you know, let's talk about a couple of the other uh, games that I picked in the uh, blog today. I, I really like Northern Illinois. I really like Ball State, and I really like Troy. Um, just three games that I, I feel really strongly about. Three teams that we've been watching all year long. Three teams that are right in our wheelhouse. Not from the big conference types type games. Um, you know, the, the the Troy game, we... We've been on Troy pretty much all year. We've lost with them in the Oklahoma State game, but you know they were our, pretty much our lock uh, against Florida Atlantic, and they came through really nicely. Uh, North Texas, we've been against them all year. They've only covered um, twice all year. One of them was, was last week against uh, Louisiana, Louisiana Monroe, and we didn't touch that game. The other time was against LSU when they were getting 42 points. They've been getting... Um, you know, 23 times this year and didn't cover any of those games. So I don't think, you know, 24 by uh, Troy is going to be much of a problem at all. I, I think that easily 30 or more, or more Troy can win by. Uh, Ball State is um, looking pretty good as a 24-point uh, favorite over Eastern Michigan. I I don't like Eastern Michigan this year. I, 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 I you know, some... Uh, some people I've talked to, they, they've they've said you know Eastern Michigan is is equal to you know pretty much a JV team. Um, I don't think they're quite that bad. They they did beat Bowling Green this year, who uh, we're going to talk about in a second. And uh, you know they're they're not that horrible, but Ball State is just in a zone right now. They are ranked and they are moving the ball and they are winning games and they're they're doing it convincingly. Um, you know, let's move on to Northern Illinois real quick. Um, they. They, they got that revenge for us last week against Toledo. They won easily. They marched up and down the field. It was no problem. The one game they didn't cover was against Miami of Ohio, um, who ironically uh, Bowling Green lost to outright as a 9.5-point favorite last week. Um, another, an, another team that they both have in common that they played was Minnesota. Northern Illinois played them really close. Bowling Green got blown out by them. We were impressed with Bowling Green after their first week game against Pittsburgh. But we haven't been impressed since. Um, so, you know, I, I really like Northern Illinois. There's a couple other games that I wrote up in the blog uh, today. Um, we did six as opposed to our normal five on part one, you know, trying to get this first game out of our system. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be talking about games all week long because there are some great matchups, and I see some great opportunities across the board. Um, you know, I, I almost wrote up, like, 15 picks today, but I just figured I would save it for the rest of the week like I normally do because I just like talking college football all week long, and this is Mitch, and I will be talking college football all week long. Thanks for joining me, and have a great day.